After I got the acceptance letter, uh, MK sent a notification letter about the MK kickoff and kind of what MK is about. And I, I honestly didn't know what MK really stood for. I remember like when I first walked in, just being like kind of in awe because there was this whole building devoted to just multicultural students and activities and events and stuff. And I was like, you know, I'm going to hang out here more often. I heard about MK initially in my freshman year. They invite you to come to the kickoff. I didn't go. Um, I'm from the Twin Cities, and I didn't necessarily feel like I needed this orientation. After a 22-year absence of going to school, um, I enrolled back at the University of Minnesota through the Dislocated Worker Program. When I first came to school, there was the multicultural kickoff um, and I went through that and then I was also in the American Indian Culture House which helped to I think bridge that gap and enabled me to already have these resources when I first came to school here. All the experiences that my friends really told me about at the kickoff and how they already kind of had bonds from the kickoff and they made friends and um, some of them friendships lasted all the way through senior year and that was something that I missed out on and so my first semester I was uh, I went to class and I went to work and I went home and I didn't make a lot of friends until my second semester. MK offered a lot of um, events going on and so I was a commuter student and they even offered the kickoff event for non-dorm living students and I thought that was really nice to at least get to know people because I thought, well in the beginning as a commuter student, I, was, I thought how am I going to get to know anyone? I remember when I first came to the U, um, one thing that I really, really noticed like right away was the lack of diversity. And coming from like Saudi Arabia, which is like in the Middle East and it's, it is a melting pot of all these different cultures. When I first came to school here, I was in the School of Music. Um, so it was a majority of white students. Um, in my group, which was the first year uh, vocal students, there was myself and a, an African American girl. Moving to Eden Prairie, that was different. I mean, the ratio was much smaller. <laughs> and coming here, it, was, it wasn't that much of a transition, but MK kind of said, it's okay. When you go back after 20 years, 10 years, maybe 30 or 40 years, things are different and they weren't like they used to back in the day. And MK has definitely branched out to those that are rather apprehensive or scared of what modern technology has in the ways of assisting students. It feels good. It makes you feel comfortable. It makes you feel like you matter at the university and you aren't just a number. It makes it small. It was through different mentors within MK that I was able to get past kind of myself, get past my own constraints of not wanting to look somewhere else for help. Junior year hit and I realized like I was starting to feel really burned out. I was starting to feel really frustrated with classmates and professors, um, specifically in the journalism major because um, there really is no sense of community in the J school for minority students and you know students of color. It helped me to realize kind of where I was lacking in other areas. So in my own leadership roles, how was I kind of micromanaging different things or how was I going to help other people to grow? Constantly being the model minority student actually I feel like puts much more pressure on you because you kind of when you start to not do as well as you as you have been all this time that kind of puts more you feel like a failure like you start feeling like a failure and you start thinking like am I doing something wrong like what am I doing wrong and I realized it wasn't that I was doing anything wrong I just didn't have enough guidance. The staff and students were really welcoming, they were open, honest, they had a lot of uh, resources for us to connect to, like tutoring, the, they told us about other resources that the U offered, like the writing centers, they offered free printing and things like that. They made it 
made the space inviting in MK so that we would always come there or feel comfortable there. They accept differences, all kinds of differences, just from culture to academia to majors, and that's where I got to know a lot of other people from other majors. When I tell them how old I am, they would say, no way, uh-uh, no, no, you don't look your age, and I tell them, well, I think positive and I think young.